Captain Rex's Y-Wing might just be one of the most controversial LEGO Star Wars sets they have ever released. And there's definitely a few other controversial sets. I have a feeling next year there's actually quite a decent chance once the ATTE retires, which we will be looking at and reviewing tomorrow. So definitely subscribe if you'd like to check that out with me we could get a microfighter with an arm printed Cody. Chances are low, but there's definitely a chance Lego could give us that. And I wouldn't complain, I'd love to get Cody with some arm printing, but the minifigure we already have is also pretty good. It would take up one of the slots where we could get a brand new minifigure. Really, anyone could be got at that point. And I'd love to see a bit more love and appreciation on these sequels, but that is why today, I have built a microfighter ATTE so that LEGO really don't have to. And if you are a designer for LEGO and you've been asked to build a micro ATTE, please don't because I'd rather have the actual ATTE an extra year. I know there's rumors of a few sets retiring this year, so it'd be really interesting to see if the ATTE does retire after its two year run because sets do tend to retire after two three years very rarely does a set survive past that unless you're a UCS Falcon which is still on shelves after however many years now I feel like it's coming up to a decade maybe not quite just yet but it's not too far off so let's take a look at this micro ATTE because it actually fits two minifigures and if you were wondering how big this ship is going to be compared to the actual ATTE Yes, it's it's very, very small. It is but a fraction of the size of the build. And again, we'll look at that tomorrow. So I don't want to show you too much. But as you can see, both two 12 minifigures are sat front and back. One manning the giant turret at the front and the other manning these little ones at the back. And I suppose probably also manning these little guns at the front. I've spared no detail compared to the actual model lego gave us and in fact the in-universe model but i mentioned the lego model first because we do also have a black t-bar just at the top here which acts as the carry handle that we see on the bigger model you can see if i bring that back over there is a carry handle so you can lift it so this micro fighter does take more inspiration from the lego model including that same carry handle so that you can lift it without anything falling off though that being said you can lift it by the legs you can really lift this thing from every angle it's very stable you can see when i drop it from a pretty decent height i like to think it's not breaking at all i mean the legs are definitely flattening a bit more than perhaps i would like but the model holds up to some real rigorous play testing i don't know if you'd be able to lift it by the turret i've only just thought of this and yeah, it doesn't work that well. The candles don't have much clutch power, but the rest of the model holds together so well. And again, you do have the carry handle if you don't know where to grab it. Now, both of these minifigures are on these two by two. They're meant to make it easy for the minifigures to come off, but you see the two by two with the two studs for where the bum of the minifigure is. And that makes it easier just to clip them in and to unclip them at the end of the day. And the underside of this build is covered with these two by two round, I'm gonna call them buttons, especially the tan versions. They look like some dairy milk buttons, but it just helps hold all of these legs together because I've tried to switch it up from what I've seen other people do and copy the poly bag we got in a magazine. So we've got this stud here for the dish on the legs. We've got different patterns on the side, which also help to stabilize the model as a whole. Because what you'll notice is these slopes are stopping the legs from squishing down any further. So you can actually put quite a bit of weight onto this model. I wouldn't recommend putting too much weight, but especially in terms of children playing with this model, it's going to hold up to a fair bit of play. You've already seen that. Now, if LEGO was to release this, I don't think they'd give us two minifigures. But after Mando and Grogu coming out for like £13.50, I think getting two clone troopers, stormtroopers in a build like this on top of a battle pack would be really, really cool and give us a chance to collect more minifigures in a year of LEGO Star Wars. However, what I really think would be the perfect opportunity for this is to have a micro ATTE 
And perhaps a micro AAT or another droid ship, even a micro droid carrier. So vote in the comments what you'd like to see me build for the Separatist Legion. And I'm going to build a microfighter to go against this ATTE sometime in the near future. Well, hopefully in the near future, I do have a lot plan to get through but let me know what other separatist ships you'd like me to build and perhaps i can build a fleet because similar to a few of the older sets that lego have made i think this would be perfect going up against a separatist mini build and then you could probably excuse two clones two droids or two clones and perhaps a tactical droid with a droid you get cody with arm printing a 212 212 airborne would be really nice and then you can also get a tactical droid and a droid that'd be an absolutely amazing set and it's a real shame that lego aren't doing anything like this because this model is also a lot easier to add to your display than something like the 120 pound atte it takes up so much less and i can see people probably building armies of this to have micro clone wars displays which i think would be a really cool thing to display on your shelf but there's not really much else to it. You can see a few of the details. I've got that printed tile on the front, which is just representing the, I might as well keep this set here as much as I'm referencing it, meant to represent these bars at the front. I think it's actually a vent one by one printed tile. And you can see the cockpit has tried to be built out the same as the official Lego model. This is the model I kept here for reference. You're not gonna get any of the details like the stickers on the side but you can still get that one by one tile which just finishes it off nicely as well as the two by two round brick that we've actually managed to squeeze in there so let me know what you think about this down in the comments and perhaps before i wrap up this video i can show you the back because initially i was going to have this ramp so that it could fold down and just make it easier for the clone to get in and out perhaps even allow you to fit a second clone trooper resting on it but with the legs at the bottom using these one by one bar joints which have the rounded stud which is how i can get them at that 45 ish degree angle i wouldn't be able to put any of the hinge elements so i've kept this bar piece at the bottom just to represent the fact that in universe it would be able to fold down but it's a play feature i didn't think was really necessary for the micro atte and i think it does look really really cool so i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to stick around for the atte review the official set review which funnily enough is actually minifigure scout so there's a little sneak peek for that set and we've also got a few different modifications which the comments have actually pointed out they look really, really cool. But if you did enjoy this micro build, you will be able to get it on Discord or Rubricable. It won't be available at all tiers. However, yesterday I did upload the Viractal instructions from my Utapau mock, which goes quite nicely with the full size thing, if you do have that. And that is available to all members tiers and i think there's also a droidica build as well for the lower tier so definitely be sure to check them out on the discord again available to both tiers the 99p and the upper brick tier though if you like every single set of instructions i have ever made including a few bonus ones that i realized i never got to upload in on rubricable be sure to check out the brick tier members and thank you to everyone already supporting the channel we've got like half the members board already filled but that is all for today's video thank you so much for making it right to the very end and not clicking off check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always